If bees go extinct, will humanity survive? For us, pollination by bees is of paramount importance. Thanks to them, we can eat foods rich in vitamins and enjoy the flowers. Without bees, our world will be less varied and less colourful. Bees make an essential contribution to our quality of life. Bee populations are declining everywhere on the planet. Some believe that the end of the world is coming. If the bee disappears, humanity has four years. Apocalyptic visions of fallow fields and starving humans infest social networks. But what is it really? Yes, the problem must be taken seriously. But no, our survival as a species does not depend on it. Before we begin, let's make something clear. Nobody said it would be a good thing if the bees disappeared. It would be an environmental, food and economic disaster. In addition, developing countries would be particularly affected. On the other hand, an idea has been floating for some time in social networks. Humanity depends on bees. Many publications circulating even report what Einstein would have said about it. If bees disappear, humanity has four years left. Two-thirds of the plants we eat are pollinated by wind and do not depend on bees to reproduce. This is the case of important plants such as corn, wheat and rice. These plants would not be directly affected by bee decline. In addition, bees are not the only pollinating insects. Beetles, ants, butterflies and moths also play this role. Not that we don't need pollinators, because they are crucial for certain foods like blueberries and apples. These are foods that contain a lot of vitamins and minerals. But the idea that we are all going to starve because the bees are in decline is pretty unlikely. What would happen if the bees disappeared? Few plants are totally dependent on pollinators. These plants would be affected, of course, but we would still have food. In the absence of pollinators, world agricultural yields would decrease by between 3 and 8%. This percentage may seem small, but we must remember that the world population is increasing. According to the study, such a situation would probably force humanity to compensate by devoting much more land to agriculture, which would be an ecological disaster. The decline in yield would also affect developing countries more rapidly. It is estimated that the area of new farmland needed to compensate for loss of pollinators would be six times greater in these countries than in developed countries. It is therefore far from a desirable situation, but to know if humanity would disappear, the answer is no. Bee conservation is an environmental problem more than a survival problem. Many beekeepers have seen high rates of bee deaths in recent years, but the situation is not as critical as it may seem. Heavy losses occur in honeybees, which are raised in hives, and serve, among other things, to aid in agricultural pollination. But these bees are not in danger of disappearing. Unlike wild populations, honeybees are raised by humans. If we believe that there are only a few species of bees, and that they are in decline, it is easy to jump to conclusions and think that there will be a catastrophe. But if we learn that there are several hundred species, in addition to other pollinators, the message may be less alarming. Another myth related to the disappearance of bees is the fact that neonicotinoid-type pesticides are the only responsible cause of the decline. This class of pesticide acts on the central nervous system of the bees, which then become incapable of locating, returning to their hive, and die of exhaustion, as many scientific studies have shown. Although it is undeniable that these have a detrimental effect on some bee populations, they alone cannot explain the decline of all populations. For example, red patch bumblebee populations are declining, even though they live in areas where neonicotinoids are not used. According to scientists, the decline is probably due to a complex interaction of different factors, such as diseases, climate change, or monoculture. The importance of keeping bees is essentially to make our ecosystems more resilient to climate change and other environmental stresses. We have to make sure that we have enough bees so that if a disease is devastating and eliminates a species, there are another 200 species to take their place. 